Right, these are the pickups, the thing that make this an electric guitar rather than just an acoustic guitar. And obviously some screws and springs. And these mount not onto the body of the guitar, as you might imagine, but onto this, the scratch plate, along with some other things that we'll be getting later. Now, the pickups, they are a series of magnets with copper wire wound around them. I can demonstrate that they're magnets because they are that screw sticks to it. And you might remember from physics, if you ever paid attention, that if you move a wire in a magnetic field in a coil, you will get a current, an EMF. And this is really how the guitar works. The string vibrates and generates a very tiny current inside the coil. And the size of that current is dependent on the amplitude of the string's vibration, how far it moves, and the frequency, how quickly it's moving. And that is then effectively producing an electric note, which is amplified by the big stack of marshals. Other types of amplifier are available. And then that comes out as motorhead or whatever. And I've got a spare coil here um, so that I can show you. If I peel off the protective tape, you will see the copper coils. There are something like 6,000 turns of very fine copper wire on there. In fact, the total length of the copper wire in the three pickups is about... I did this calculation earlier on. It's about 2.6 kilometres of wire. So if you joined the three wires end to end and stretched them out, you'd be able to fill three double-decker buses the size of a swimming pool and the area of Wales, which would be visible from outer space.